Yeah. On it. Um, now, once you all look in this way, and obviously checking our answer, this is a really important question. You know, you're going to get one of these in the exam. It's highly likely. Okay? So when we look here, it says frequency table shows the number of points gained by football team in each of the matches in the Welsh Premier League. Okay? Um, and you can see from the table, you've got six matches where no points were scored. Okay, so obviously lost those games. They lost six games. Then you've got five games where they got a one, one, one point. So they, obviously then there's five draws there. And then you had 11 games that they won. Okay, giving them three points for each of those games. It says calculate the mean number of points gained per match by this team. Okay, give your answer correct to two decimal points, uh, two decimal places. Now, when it, when it talks about mean, obviously, we know about the idea of adding them all up and divide by how many is there, okay? In this case, we haven't got a list of numbers, right? They're in a table format, okay? Usually, they're in a table because there's lots of information, there's lots of data, right? If you think about it here, it would be quite awkward if you had a list here because you'd have, you know, if you think about it, you'd have six games where, where you had zero, okay? So, you'd have zero written out six times, Okay, I mean, I could do it at the top. Okay, we'd have zero written out six times. Okay, that's five times, need another one. Okay, and you, you know, you could do the same for each of the other, other, other scores, but the trouble with that is, is that you end up running out of room, okay, and often these numbers here, we're dealing with a lot bigger numbers in, in a lot of exam questions, okay? So, um, in terms of adding them all up and dividing memories there, I, I wouldn't sort of, take that approach, I wouldn't necessarily write them all out. I would look at the table, okay? And to start with, you can see we've got six matches where zero points have been scored, okay? So we need to multiply these values together because if you think about it, you've got six lots of zero, okay? So six times zero, all right? And you can write that down here. Okay, we've got six lots of zero, and of course that will become zero. When you add up zero six times, it becomes zero. When you multiply six by zero, it becomes zero. Then you've got five matches that were draws. Okay, so if you think about it, that's like having five ones up here. But it's easier to multiply. And then you've got 11 matches, but which they won. So you've got three points written down 11 times, and instead of doing 3 plus 3 plus 3 11 times, it'd be much easier just to multiply them, okay? So you've got 11 times 3. Of course, the rule still applies when you're working at the mean, you need to add them all up, okay? So we need to add all those values together, and divide by how many is there. So, I'm going to divide by how many is there. Now, this bit is really important because if you get this bit wrong, you're gonna lose all of the marks, okay? We're dividing by how many matches there are, right? It's not three, okay? You might think there's three there. There's three rows, that's not the case. If you add up all these matches, I think that comes to 22, okay? You can check on your calculator if you want. That's what we're dividing by. So on my calculator then, I would work out the top, perhaps work up the top first. So you've got six times zero, okay, you can use the bracket if you want, plus five times one, plus 11 times three. So we write that down, that becomes 38, divided by 22, okay? And then, obviously on your calculator then, you can divide that answer by 22, and you get your answer out. Now, you can see here on my cast here, here you've got 1.72. There's a dot above the 7, a dot above the 2. Okay. Don't worry too much about that. You can write down what the calculator says. You can write it like that if you want. Okay. Um, but here it says you've got correct to two decimal places. So we have to sort of look what they want here to two decimal places. Now, the fact that it's got a dot above the 7, a dot above the 2, just means that they are repeating. Okay. So that basically means 1.727272, okay, 72. So if you ever see dots above them, it just shows that the pattern 
is repeating from 7, ending at 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, and so on. Now, because they want two decimal places, that will account for one decimal place, that will account for the second decimal place. Okay, so that will be your two decimal places. You need to chop off the rest, okay? Now, when you chop off the rest, obviously, you need to look at what you're chopping off. That line up, that, that number after the line is a 7, so because that's a 7, you're going to need to round this up, okay? If that number is five or more, you need to round this up and that becomes a, that will round up to three. So it's closer to 1.73. Okay? So really important there, you're multiplying them, you divide them by 22, okay? So you get a mark for showing this here, okay? In fact, you've shown they divide by 22 as well. A mark for getting the answer out and a mark for rounding. Okay, right, so if we go on to question seven. <coughs> 